All right, I'm starting up the Discord. See if you guys want to sound off on this. I'll uh, just take you know a few moments and, and get you guys in here. So if you want to, you can join the Your Calls section and the staging area of Discord uh, and raise your hand if you can, and then uh, we'll bring you up here with Bishop on air so that you can sound off. All right, so uh, let's see what we can make happen. Uh, it, says, it says my live streaming uh system uh, disconnected again great uh so if you if you <laughs> are patient uh then we'll uh, be able to get you guys pulled up here uh but be sure to to raise your hand looks like we connected successfully again so appreciate uh, my live streaming and my internet for whatever reason being uh stupid uh let's do it all right so get your your hand raised and i see there's five people six people now in the staging room uh, so if you want to sound off, uh, raise your hand. Uh, everybody from Craig to Randy to Warsaw, Dave the Hunter. Uh, if you guys want to, please do raise your hand to Nebris uh, as well, jumping into the staging area. Uh, so we've got uh, eight people. Who wants to sound off? Who wants to, to have their voice heard here? And especially considering that we've got uh, uh, the, the four different filings in front of the U.S. Supreme Court when it deals with gun and magazine bans. Bueller? Bueller? All right, let's see if we can just invite uh, Warsaw. I know he's got stuff to say. Warsaw, uh, join in the conversation here. Um, what do you think about this? Are we uh, are we looking at uh, a quick decision from the U.S. Supreme Court to take these cases, or how do you see this playing out? It's hard to tell, to be honest with you, Greg, especially they've had multiple attempts, and they've been just, you know, just giving us a brief like hey not now but we'll give another option but honestly at this point i'm hopeful because it's not just illinois there's like nine other states with more bands coming left and right and even other states that are proposing them so i mean the more bands and regulations and restrictions that are coming out they have to take us up i mean it's it can't be ignored anymore i mean there's gonna be so many complaints from all every state it's not just illinois well i think what's different though with these requests is uh, these are on the merits. Uh, they're asking for the U.S. Supreme Court for a writ of certiorari, which means we want a hearing on the merits. Different from what the Beavis cases had previously done, they were asking for injunctive relief immediately, which uh, was not a hearing on the merits. So now it looks like these three cases, uh, all from Illinois, and then you've got the Maryland case, asking for uh, a hearing on the merits. <clears throat> yep. No. Uh, or gun ban regulation we have in books, but Maryland, if people don't realize, Maryland actually has a serious case. She coal wine bars. The FOIA card had it just for like 1986. As their version of a FOIA, it's actually rule on theirs actually requires fingerprints. So apart from our gun case, Maryland's actually is going to open up Pandora's box hopefully soon for Illinois too. Well, yeah, you have uh, uh, several cases uh, in appeals courts as well uh, that open up the possibility of uh, uh, Illinois' firearm owner ID card being uh, struck down. And there is that case that we'll be tracking it here in Illinois. Uh, and as far as the uh, the FOID card challenge, and that's in the Southern District of Illinois. Uh, Warsaw, appreciate you chiming in. Let's see, uh, Craig, you're in the staging room. I'm going to invite you to speak. Uh, so well, good morning if you are in and uh, ready to share your thoughts. I uh, would love to hear it here with Bishop on air. So uh, go ahead and uh, jump on in there if you can. Accept that uh, invitation to speak, and we'll see if you can uh, chime in. Uh, we've also got uh, several others, Randy, uh, Dave, uh, Soupster, Tenebris, uh, if you guys want to be able to chime in here. Uh, let's see if I can uh, invite you to speak. Uh, Craig, uh, then pop in. And I'm still new to this Discord thing, so I'm still kind of working the bugs out, trying to understand how this how this works ultimately. So I uh, appreciate you guys uh, uh, taking the time in the, uh, in, the, in the post segment here to sound off. Uh, let's see. Craig, it doesn't look like you're you're joining in here, so let's go and check out what uh, Tenebris has to say. Tenebris, I'm going to invite you uh, and uh, see if you can pop in here and sound off. Uh, so let's uh, get you in. Um, we got, uh, we got you guys pumping through here or, or what? No. Uh, all right. Tenebris looks like you are joining yeah. now. So, uh, good morning. What are your thoughts on this? Good morning. Um, 
and another good show, Greg. I, I love listening to you every morning. Um, I got I have a good feeling that they're going to step in here and grab this. Like Warsaw said, there's too many states involved now. And um, they have, as you mentioned, they haven't really addressed this. All these previous cases um, weren't addressed on the merits. And I think, what was it, Bianchi? Uh, Firearms Policy Coalition, Gun Owners of America, they made a, they made some pretty compelling arguments that, you know, these were rights that were being denied. And uh, like Hannah said, I think this court realizes that a, a right delayed is a right denied. I think they're going to step in here. I hope sooner rather than later. I'd hate to wait until the middle of 25. Well, I, I mean, you've got the Maryland case, but you also have a, a case out of California uh, as well that seems to be ripe for heading to the U.S. Supreme Court. Uh, but uh, I think one frustration a lot of people have in observing all of this is how quickly states can go about passing these types of laws and enacting these types of laws. Because Illinois, it happened within the span of, what, two or three days, and then the ban went into effect immediately. But here we are now, more than a year afterwards, and uh, still dealing with uh, with this case. And, you know, I see a lot of stuff online where people question if we have any recourse to sue politicians or judges or charge them with a violation of their oath. I don't know that we have anything like that. What what can the Supreme Court do? Can they censure a, a, an inferior court? That's a great question. Uh, <laughs> I don't know that answer. Uh, I would imagine uh, simply having a ruling that blasts the lower courts uh, could be considered somewhat of a censure. But, you know, uh, who's to be held responsible for courts making poor decisions that don't align with what the U.S. Supreme Court uh, has to say about things? Good points there. Tenebris, appreciate that. Uh, going to see if we can get another voice in here as well. Uh, let's see. Uh Let's do Dave the Hunter. Dave, if you're ready to, to chime in here, uh, let's go ahead and uh, get you in. And uh, you're now up. Dave, what's up? Yeah, good morning. My, my thing is there's no potential repercussion to the politicians that create these unconstitutional edicts, laws, that we wind up having to pay for the defense of, and then we also wind up having to pay to have it then overturned, and there is absolutely no repercussions other than the potential to get them taken out of office the next general election. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Warsaw sent in a chat here saying um, a civil court that violates the Supreme Court fee needs to be held accountable by the federal judiciary. Uh, so, yeah, it, uh, we need to uh, all contact Jim Jordan uh, and the federal judiciary to have a hearing on this. That, that That's an interesting thing I've heard proposed elsewhere as well uh, to, to have congressional hearings on how the lower courts are the inferior courts seem to be thumbing their nose at the Supreme Court. Uh, and that's something that even Alan Gottlieb said he believes very much these lower courts are doing. And even the Barnett uh, filing really levels into that hard, saying that, uh, you know, they, they seem to just kind of be going off on their own, the lower courts, uh, when it comes to Supreme Court precedent. Uh, so, yeah, I, I don't know what the answer is there, Dave, but I appreciate you chiming in. Let's see, uh, Brock, uh, let's see if you want to uh, chime in to speak here with the Discord channel. And again, if you want to join the Discord channel, it's pretty simple. You just go to bishoponair.com, click the Discord link there, and you should be able to get in, and then you follow through to your calls uh, where you can chime in. So I've got uh, Brock. Let's see if he wants to, to get in here uh, to have his voice heard. Uh, so, Brock, I think you have to accept that invite. If you don't, I'm going to go and see what uh, uh, Soupster has to say. Soupster actually being the first one uh, that we had uh, uh, test the Discord channel, so it's good to see him back in here. Soupster, what's going on, man? Checking one, checking two. Check that mic. Soupster, are you there? I can't hear you if you are talking, so we'll see if we can uh, give that another shot here in a bit. Uh, Brock, let's see if we can go back to you as we take some uh, phone calls here live. And it, do we even call these phone calls? What are these Discord calls? Uh, what do we what do we characterize these as? Uh, it's a good question. I'm not too sure. All right, so Brock doesn't seem to be coming through. Let's go to Randy. 
Uh, Randy, I'm uh, requesting you to uh, to jump in here. So, yeah, there you go. Randy, what's up? What are your thoughts? Hey, good morning, Greg. Good How morning. Good, good, good. Uh, uh, yeah, I used to have that problem, but then I moved. Uh, I've been a proud uh, citizen of Alabama since 2013. I moved from Illinois to southwest side of Chicago. I grew up in unincorporated Cook County, and I, I got my FOID when I was 18, 19, and I think I re-upped it once, and after that, I kind of let it go. By the way, I was still carrying every day. I've worked in uh, gas stations where, well, until I got robbed the first time, I didn't carry, and after that, I never got robbed again. But besides all that, I think your governor has overstepped his uh, authorities, so to speak, because he got Bruin reinforced by reinforcing Heller and then he's going to come up with this it's just a big waste of time two years later it's going to get shot down that's my thoughts on it well I appreciate that and uh, we'll be tracking this all the way through um but uh I guess if you could kind of uh give us a difference in the the culture of uh you know those who who look at the second amendment as a civil liberty uh do you see that more so now in Alabama compared to what you saw when you lived in Illinois all those years ago I go to gas stations around here and people open carry uh, a lot of ladies. I mean, a lot of ladies open carrying down here, my wife included. Um, well, she, she's got two, but anyways, uh, yeah, training is probably the key thing uh, that just to have something to protect yourself is one thing and being able to use it is another. I mean, there was an incident uh, about seven months ago at an IHOP about 11, 20 something in the morning. And yeah, a guy wasn't uh, too happy with his food and started shooting at the cook. Well, unapologetically, he had to, been, he had to be, uh, you know, stopped from doing that. So I promptly did that. And uh, yeah, it wasn't, was not an issue. Wow. Wow. Well, you know, you mentioned uh, a lot of women uh, carrying uh, and uh, even men carrying, what do they call it, the great equalizer, right? Uh, where a firearm can definitely um, make the difference in, in if you're being attacked uh, to, to a degree. Uh, so uh, interesting to hear that story, Randy. Appreciate you chiming in this morning. All right, guys. Uh, I think the I think the Discord server is working as I hoped it would. Uh, so if you want to be able to take part in the program, uh, again, go to bishoponair.com. Click that Discord link, and you should be able to uh, just follow through. And if you're already on Discord, you'll be able to just plug right in, go to the Bishop on Air server, and then during the program, we'll open it up for phone calls uh, from time to time. So I appreciate you guys taking part in that but i gotta get out of here all right uh, full day of work ahead and uh, plenty for us to talk about tomorrow so we'll be back at it uh, and we'll uh hear what uh, maybe the governor has to say he's got a couple of events today so will he be asked about these filings in front of the u.s supreme court well, i'll share that with you as soon as we get that so appreciate you guys being here each and every weekday morning it's bishop on air i'm greg bishop hanging out with you hit that uh like subscribe notification bell and uh, make it happen all right We'll see you back here bright and early tomorrow with Bishop on Air.